This video was brought to you by Squarespace. Hey, what is up guys? David Zhao here, and today we're looking at a new motorized slider from Zeppin. This is the Micro 2 Plus slider, a compact slider that can not only be used like a traditional slider horizontally, but also mimic jib and crane movements diagonally or even vertically. Not only that, it's also lightweight and can pack into your camera bag's typical tripod holder, so you can take it with you anywhere from commercial client shoots to personal travel vlogs with ease. And my personal favorite part, while you can use their app to access functionalities like the time-lapse feature, you can use it completely independently with just the three physical buttons on the body of the motorized unit. Now that is what we like to see. As always guys, if you're interested in checking out this slider or any of the gear used to make these videos, links will be in the description down below. Let's get started with some specs of this slider. We're looking at a 17 inch compact slider that is made out of high quality aluminum and ABS plastic composite parts to balance both durability and weight. The slider itself weighs in at two kilograms or four and a half pounds. What's more impressive is that it can support an optimal payload of 4.5 kilograms or a maximum payload of eight kilograms. That's between 10 and 17 pounds. For most of you watching, I'm assuming you're a hybrid shooter like myself, either rocking a DSLR or mirrorless camera. For me, that means this slider can comfortably support everything from an A7S III with a 24 to 70 millimeter lens on to a 70 and 200 millimeter lens on. Another thing that you'll notice with the slider is that it's a 17 inch slider, but it can actually travel up to 21 inches thanks to its telescoping design. So even though it's pretty compact, it's still got plenty of travel length. On the body itself, you'll find a few physical hardware features. You've got a power button, LED indicators, a back and forward button, as well as various switches and knobs to lock the slide carriage for transporting the slider, attach and detach the motorized unit, and even a lock for the battery so that it doesn't disconnect mid-operation. Speaking of batteries, this unit can be powered with a Sony NPF 550, NPF 750, or an NPF 970. You can expect hours of operation, and I love how quickly you can swap the batteries during a shoot if you do manage to exhaust a battery. Seriously, companies, take note. Professional products should always have external replaceable batteries over built-in batteries. Now, a quick rundown of how to operate the slider using the physical buttons. Starting with the power button, you press it for three seconds to turn on the slider and press it again for three more seconds to turn it off. When the slider is on, a single press adjusts the slide carrier speed. There's three LED lights indicating slow, medium, and fast. There's also a forward and backwards button, which you guessed it, if you press and hold it, the slide carrier will go in that direction based on the speed you set. If you double press either direction, it'll make the slide carrier go all the way to the end of that direction. Using the forward backward buttons, you can position your slide carrier where you want it. And once you get it into a start position, you can double press the power button to set your first keyframe. Then get your slide carrier into the end position, double press the power button again to set the second keyframe. Once both keyframes are set, double press the power button to make the slide carrier go from one keyframe to the other. If you press the forward, back, and power button at the same time, it'll loop between your keyframes indefinitely. Finally, if you wanna clear your keyframes, just long press the forward and backwards button. You can either use a slider traditionally on a sturdy tripod, or you can even utilize their low profile mount to place it on a flat surface like a table or on the ground, allowing you to get extremely low angle shots. Actually, one of the most impressive features of this slider is the fact that you can utilize it at any angle. Remember when I said that it has an optimal capacity of 4.5 kilograms or 10 pounds? That's the maximum capacity if you wanna do shots other than your typical horizontal slides, which means you can use this compact slider in a huge variety of applications. Everything from your typical horizontal slides and dolly ins and dolly outs to more interesting diagonal jib shots and even vertical craning shots. This opens up so many more possibilities to add depth and dimension to your footage. Their stepless motor and the tight fit and finish of the slider's construction results in smooth, repeatable slider shots. The slider also utilizes a start-stop speed ramp to gradually start and stop slides, which decreases any potential vibrations and jitters in your footage. What I love about this slider is that the movement is extremely smooth and free from any micro jitters from the motors. With previous sliders I've tried, I've had to use stabilization in post to get rid of those small bumps, but with the Micro 2 Plus, so far, I've been getting buttery smooth results. Just like how I get a buttery smooth experience with Squarespace. 
Squarespace is an online web hosting service with beautiful award-winning templates that you can easily customize to fit your brand's image. I was so excited when I was offered this opportunity to work with Squarespace as a sponsor for this channel because I've been a paying customer and advocate of their service since 2016. With Squarespace, I've been able to build a stunning looking portfolio which best represents my brand to my prospective clients. Utilizing their drag and drop online tools, I can easily update my galleries in just minutes to display some of my latest projects. On top of that, Squarespace has an appointment scheduling feature which my clients can use to easily book shoots days, weeks, or even months in advance. I've even used Squarespace to build a website for my mom's Chinese takeout restaurant, as well as for some of my past clients who are looking for a sleek website to market their products and services. If you haven't already, then you should definitely check them out. Head to squarespace.com forward slash David Zhao for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you'll save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. While I love using gimbals for stabilizing most of the footage I shoot, especially for things like event videography, sliders are king when it comes to slow, stabilized shots. An obvious example would be time lapses, where you need to capture movement consistently over a long period of time, like several hours. But for me, where it comes in most handy is for product videography, especially for something like this YouTube channel where I'm constantly showcasing camera tech, it adds more dimension and visual interest when you show an audience a dynamic shot of a product with a moving camera as opposed to a stationary camera on a tripod. Additionally, using this motion controlled slider allows for creative visual effects like morph transitions between products or my favorite application which has been demonstrated expertly by channels like Film Riot to produce incredible VFX driven shots like freeze frame effects or complex clone effects. Another huge upside is that this unit is pretty quiet. When operating, the noise of the motor is barely audible. If you have a sensitive microphone close to the slider, like mounting it on the camera, even while shooting in a silent environment, you'll still barely hear it. So how much does the slider cost? For the motorized version, it'll run you $445. For the non-motorized manual version, it's just $259. Personally, I think that a slider is an essential tool in a professional photographer and videographer's toolkit. Having one that's both compact, durable, and also have a reasonable travel distance makes this entry from Zeppelin a very compelling option. Having the ability to add motion to your time lapses, being able to do dynamic before and after shots for product shoots and commercial work, and even giving you the ability to try some more interesting looking VFX shots are just some of the reasons why I think a motion controlled slider is a good buy. There are definitely other options on the market that are worth taking a look at. If you want to look for something cheaper, there's the GVM slider, and then something in the same price category would be the iFooted Shark Nano slider. And for the higher end options, there's like Rhino sliders and Edelkrone sliders. But I find that what the Zeppelin Micro 2 Plus can deliver at such a reasonable price makes it a top contender when it comes to slider recommendations. Again, if you're interested in checking out this slider, Slider. Links will be in the description down below. Well, that's it for this one. As usual, if you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and get notified of when new videos are released. What do you guys think of this slider? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.